everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. So this is a reminder that Anime Expo is going to have uh, height is going to have their booth. And uh, so is I buy power. I buy power is going to have a large booth where they're going to have um, the celebrating the tomatoes birthday, Doki Bird's birthday. Remember, it's going to be right next to Nidhi Sanji EN and Nidhi Sanji itself. So if you do go, make sure to be on your best behavior. Because of course, no one wants uh, craziness to happen. I don't want craziness to happen. You know, that kind of stuff is not great. So they're going to do a Q&A panel with a guest meet and greet. So Height is going to be hosting Doki Doki Live with a uh, Q&A panel. That's something new, karaoke, and uh, featuring a special guest that Doki Bird has decided, I guess, and a meet and greet. Check out the link below to see if you can celebrate with us at I Buy Power. So they're doing it for her birthday, which her birthday is going to be around the time the Anime X was going to happen. July 4th, I think, is her birthday. And uh, it's going to be fun times. You know, good things are going to be happening there. Of course, everyone be on your best behavior because, you know, you don't want nastiness with doki around or anything like that you don't want any any uh to give them the satisfaction of of feeling like they've been able to you know hurt her again or anything like that so yes just a little bit of a reminder that they are having this wonderful thing at anime expo both height and i buy power i remember i was told that height is actually owned by i buy power did not know that before but they're owned by i buy power at least they're part of the same conglomerate the same uh shell company not shell company the same umbrella company whatever it ends up being, but they're pretty much the same. So as I was saying before, we were talking about the Height collab between Doki Bird and Height and I Buy Power. They're going to be doing it at Anime Expo this year on July 4th. Uh, that weekend is going to be done. And here's some issue that's happening. Some people are receiving some uh, bad, in, you know, bad stuff. Bad actors are doing bad things, of course, as they always do. And they want to blame certain communities. So I said, I did feel threatened for my IRL safety that I had to cancel a plane ticket and skip the meet and greet with my Niji Oshi before. And it's coming back again. She seems like no Doki is not even a VTuber anymore. Her action make it look like she wants to destroy the entire VTuber community as revenge. No, you're 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 not getting the correct information. It's not Doki Bird doing this. It's other random people who want to blame Doki for this. It says you obviously know nothing about Doki because she's made it extremely clear, obviously clear, like super duper clear, so that there's no confusions, that she has no interest in revenge. She doesn't want anyone to suffer what she suffered through. She said it herself before. Just move on, have a happy time. That's what she wants to bring to you guys. That's what she wants to bring to the community, to the Dragoons, to everyone who watches her. She wants to bring happy times, and that's what she's trying to do. Sadly, that can't stop people who care about drama more than they care for, about her. There's little more she can do about it. Ultimately, this is Niji's self-made mess. Yes, they created the mess. Thank you for your kind word, but I'm a really anxious person in Closet Otaku, so uh, I got no buddy to go with me. EN VTuber used to be welcoming space for all. It still is. It's just there always have been bad bad eggs in here. They always have been. Uh, to see Doki's Dragoon turn into IRL harassment, it's not the whole Dragoons again. Campaign target at random Niji fans did really break me. Love how you blame Doki as if she chose the spot. And Doki did not destroy the VTuber community. Niji did it themselves. They just they destroyed their any kind of positivity they had, any kind of benefits they had, they destroyed it themselves. Seemed unable to think deeper further than the actual root cause of the problem, but I bet you will finally understand when you're the one being threatened or affected and whatever you held dear got destroyed. Seems like Doki is not even VTuber anymore. That's it, taking the words again. And again, Niji did it themselves. They are the ones who literally exposed that Selene was getting bullied. They're the ones who exposed it. Blame the crazy fans, not Doki, or else you are the same. This is scary when you build your success on lying and playing victim. Again, people always saying that Doki Bird is lying, always saying Doki Bird's playing the victim because you break several Japanese laws and get reprimanded violating the laws by employer. Again, citation needed. You show me proof of this. You should be not, not be surprised what people become your fans. Like what type of people they mean. When you say that you want to move on from the event, they, she does. She does. It's just people keep bringing it back, unfortunately. This person, McGeorge, hopefully they got reported. No one should ever actually be saying these words. Will attack an Niji Sanji fan at any convention. Sorry, I know it's not your fault, but your fan base's fault. Your fan base is inhumane and y'all deserve it. No one does. I've always said this. No one deserves this type of treatment. No one deserves this type of threat. No one deserves that. And it says, anonymous, ga anonymous gay says, Galloway Roxana says, I will eff effing pull up with a blank just for this MF is crazy. Already bringing pepper spray everywhere I go. So they'll get a combo. Harass me and I will bring effing S to your ugly butt. You may not want to publicly say you're going to bring a gun to a convention that bans guns so you can stand for any color. It says, it was a joke, but yeah, I'll still bring pepper spray. And here's the thing saying, all things not permitted. 
All metal weapons, firearms, rifles, any of that kind of stuff. Tasers, laser pointers, laser aiming devices, explosives, incendiary devices, chemical weapons, pepper spray, mace, knives, anything made to cause harm or to disable somebody else through the, the, the act of causing harm is not allowed. So these people are kind of going insane. It's Twitter the way that they do Twitter things. Twitter people go insane. So it's definitely not something uh, that I ever push. And of course, be safe. Anime Expo hopefully will be safe and people will just be able to relax. The creativity of the community is astounding. It's wonderful. Uh, let me show you this. It's a WrestleTuber S post song by Anoyatsu, which is this uh, this VTuber here. This is Dan N. Anoyatsu, they do a lot of S post stuff. They've been doing stuff about uh, eight months ago. Nidhi Sanji, Espo Song, Dragon with a Long Neck. They've been doing a lot of different things. So this is their recent Espo Song about uh, their, uh, the drama tuber, the, the, not the drama tuber, the uh, wrestle tuber thing. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome I don't know if the, uh, the actual 20, music 20, is, is copyrighted, but we'll see. Our host Tuki was setting up when backstage nervous on my beat up zen. And we were kept waiting for the secret co host who turned out to be made meant the ghost. But despite the scope, the first match begun. Kyle was talking smack, but it was Lime who won. And the British was coming for the dungeon boss. But Emma grew hands and rim pen rolls lost. Nana roast Gerard, <laughs> the dinosaur. With her diss track, spin attacks, grabs and more. And Lime fights Emma who took a leap and pinned her till she went back to sleep. Oof. And I waited for Nia to choke her out, but still ended up winning the match somehow. Then Haka fights Jun after taking the dump. He was hunting and hunting and kept the crowd pumped. Romilius next, and the crowd goes wild. The Philian came and beat up the child. Then Sarah showed Jimmy he made a mistake when he beat the fight with the girl with his name. <laughs> this is the ultimate showdown of beatable wrestling. A bunch of indies and corpos taking out in the ring. The loser goes home in tears. The winner takes everything. This is the ultimate showdown of beatable wrestling. And that's all we're going to watch for now because, of course, we got to make sure that there's not too much out there so <laughs> the copyright people don't try to get me. But we will see. Because sometimes the the uh, lyrics aren't uh, copywritten, but the actual music, the tempo, the whatever, it's, it, the, the background music is the one that is. Uh, but this is hilarious. I love it when people do this type of Espo songs. It's always great to see. It's what people say. This slays on every possible level, my goodness. Uh, Nidhi Sanji tries to black blacklist Doki. Doki retaliates by creating the biggest unifying event in VTubing history. Negligible. Ex of course, negligible. Wrestling and VTubing are the same, if you think about it. The attention to detail in this remix is insane, not only detailing the entire event, but going into detail, making every little single lyric reference back to the joke from the stream, an insane amount of attention to detail. I hope this ends up getting attention it deserves from Doki. It probably will. It's gotten pretty good attention so far. I mean, just based on, on the number of uh, subscribers versus views, uh, we're bridging the indie corpo gap with this one, boys. Yes, it's uh, it's really good. I'm really glad that they, they did something like this. It shows the creativity of the community, and I'm always glad to share it. Am I the only one who thinks Kuro Doki collab would not have happened? This person is asking this question. Although Doki thinks it's okay to collab with Kuro, Mista was missed in a PL and was one of the most famous in Luxium. He felt guilty for Doki. All they had to do is ask. Quite literally, it's not even a joke. All they have to do is ask. All they have to do is contact. I'm pretty sure Doki can set something up. Pretty much says she's down for any collab. Just reach out first because she's shy, especially with former acquaintances, nervous about making them uncomfortable. If he wants to collab with her, see no reason why they wouldn't. Such a classy lady. I'm 90% certain much older than she is. And I don't know if I'd be handling myself as well as she is. Yeah, she's handling herself extremely well. For the situation that's going on, she's handling herself extremely well. Why wouldn't it? They get along decently. Doki just... We doesn't have actively go into her uh, horner needies, as she said. So Kuro and Matara Mint would have to go to her. It's always on the table. The only ones I don't see her ever collabing with when they eventually graduate is Vox, I uh, you know, Illyra, and Ike, most likely, because of the whole situation. Honestly, would really like a PMS or MKD collab reunion, but man, I can only dream. Yeah, you know, the old, the old, uh, you know, Pomo Mint Doki, that type of thing. You know, the old school uh, type of collabs would be good. But it's always open. She's always said that it's open. Seeing as though the new generation of Hololive is going to be popping out on the 21st, we're going to take a look and see. Of course, the debut is going to have a lot of stuff, but we're going to watch maybe a week or two later and see how things are going. Because right now, Danoth isn't doing very well, as you can see here. They are Twisty Amanazako is doing their best. I mean, Black Ops, they're doing uh, Black Ops 3, uh, 123 watching, and um, it sucks because Twisty is an entertaining person. Twisty is their own, you know, individual who does everything that they can, but uh, should have 
picked uh, Modern Warfare 1, 2, or 3, Black Ops 1 or 2. Uh, to be fair, the game is horrible and not like the kind of horrible where it's fun to watch others suffer through it. I don't think Sisters like Call of Duty. Uh, I think more than likely it has to do with the fact that, one, there are other livers who are streaming around the same time frame. Uh, I need your GTA server. Oh, if the GTA server was live, a lot of people are going to be seeing that. Uh, the type of game Twisty's playing, Call of Duty isn't particularly popular. Interesting game to watch for most viewers, unless it's already a, you know, a Call of Duty player. But the latest drama, during the one collab with Vanta and Wilson, after fans were babying her, uh, their Oshis, when she was making the incest jokes. So yeah, that is one of the reasons why probably there's not a lot. That she's in a little bit of a controversy. It's a nothing burger. In my opinion, it's not even, it should never have been a controversy, but you know how some people can be. They can be a little bit too extreme with the way that they try to protect their Oshis, with they infantilizing their Oshis and things like that. Like I said, I didn't see anything negative with the way that she said the stuff that she said. It was just banter. It was just regular stuff. It wasn't too wild, too crazy. Uh, however, she was a two of you before, so an improvement for her, I guess. She streams 24-7. If she really needs help, she oddly pairs social with her membership posts and the things she says live are, well, I'd like to see yourself. A lot of Niji EN are streaming at the same time, playing Niji GTA server, including Luca, Elira, Melico, Rosami, and, Ke and Clara. That's on top of Niji JP Big Guns being out in force. Uh, 428 peak, 213 average from Playboard. So yeah, she had uh, 213 average, which isn't too bad. The peak was, uh, that is just, just I think someone, someone botted her right here. This one right here, I think someone botted her. Oh no, wait, no, that's when she just started. That's when she just started, never mind. I thought that was just for, for an actual thing. My mistake. This was actually her first stream, not bad, but as of today, 428 and 213. But yeah, this was the debut. The debut is always going to have a lot, and it sucks. It really sucks because it shows that Nidhi Sanji is not supporting them. This is what it is. It's not that they're bad uh, streamers. It's not that they're bad people. It's that Nidhi Sanji is not supporting them the way that they should be supported. As I have shown in other videos, Hollow Justice has popped out. Um, you know, it's a Halloween and it's thriving without expecting a new gen debut. Me neither, it's been almost a year, not to mention the fact that Advent was probably the second most successful generation across the company. I think the only myth would have been better. Fuamoko debut was almost a year ago. I'm scared, I'm terrified, I'm going to hide under the desk from this time. Uh, so it's like they're Eurocentric. Does that mean the chance that it had 24-hour non-stop Hololive? Fitting that they might be adding a British girl for the generation that makes the sun never setting on Hololive Empire possible? So we have British Ezra Scarlet, girl but cat, German puppet, at least what these people are saying, and a pink panther. Elizabeth has the uh, Monado... Xenotuber Chronicles, after the memeing, Hollow EU is finally upon us all. And of course, what this is, is, you know, this, this based thing that they did, which is this. Of so, course, Shiori, Shiorin. Special mission assigned. The mission is undercover investigation. Target, five escape refugees. The team is them. Hollow Justice. I mean, freaking doing an anime intro? That's freaking amazing. Elizabeth. We have the playful one, which is Gigi, Gigi. We have the artist, Aurora, Pantera. And then we have this one, which is an automaton. Ancient automaton, Cecilia. They're trying to restore justice and capture you know who. Justice. Yep, they're going after Hollow Advent. It's it's good stuff. They're gonna be thriving. Absolutely guarantee you it's gonna be a lot of a lot of watching. Like it's gonna be at least 10k or more. I guarantee you. Continuing on a little bit more of the Hollow Live uh Hollow Justice, Hollow EN Justice with the lore tying to Advent. But here we have uh well that was fast. Um the Danoth numbers in comparison to the Hololive English Justice. It's because of the way Hololive is, uh, supports their talents, the way Hololive advertises their talents, the way they just push lore a lot, all that kind of stuff really gets people going. It gets people interested. It gets people wanting to see what's gonna happen next. And um, it's the Holo boost, the Hololive boost. They have a huge boost when it comes to a lot of the things that they do. So that's going to be uh, a continuing theme when it comes to Hololive and anything that they push because they just have that that specialness to them. New Gen seems to be struggling hard. New Hollow Gen is even having debuted yet. For Nietzsche, their new gen basically got almost no hype or build up to the debut. Guess promoting new talents costs too much for them. That's the way it seems like at least. 
It seems like it just costs too much. It seems like it's just annoying to them. I don't know. That's the way it seems to me. Here we have more interactions between uh, the um, Hollow Live talents. And this is one of the differences between Hollow Live and Nidhi Sanji. The talents try their best, but Nidhi Sanji themselves don't do a lot of good for themselves. So here we go. If interactions like this become a normal in Hollow, what other excuses that Nidhi Sanji or Nidhi sisters have for not wanting to watch Hollow? Uh, Gerard T. Rexford said Redhead summoning ER Bloodflame and uh, Elizabeth Bloodflame uh, went, oh, ho, 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 ho. Redheads unite. WTF, it worked. This is like your first win of your entire career. They're making fun of each other. Octavio and everybody making fun of each other. The Hime did it and Oju did it. OG did it. Interacted. They're not the protagonists. Hope the new girl doesn't get S on by the schizos. Callie and Crony bullying Vesper and Magni was super fun. Good times. Yeah, hopefully they don't. I hope that they don't because like they really shouldn't. And finally, uh, for this whole section here, we're having who are you hoping or expecting to see in the new Hologen? Uh, just want her back. I miss her. I really don't want to believe that she graduated and isn't coming back. This is people wanting to see their Oshis, of course. I think Uniho might be Raura. Uh, she got the same artist theme and decently similar art styles. But maybe I'm coping. Also, Gyariku is close friends with Uniho. Instantly latched onto them as an Oshi. Did stream drawing her and with her debut stream saying, Mamma Mia. There's a hint that said Panthers, also Italian. So it's it's hopeful. People are hoping that Uniho or whatever. It says Uniho and Soya Poya are basically confirmed at this point. The other two have no idea. So apparently Uniho and Soya Poya, according to people, according to the, the rumors, people are, of course, this is just a rumor. They're saying that they are pretty much confirmed at this point. that They are going to be part of this EN. Only time will tell. Rumors are rumors for a reason because they aren't substantiated. So only time will tell. Uh, and, you know, people doing this little schizo posting that they always do. It says, uh, do you smell a familiar cat? Yeah, so people are, are, are kind of, you know, hoping, wishing, desiring that the cat, the Uniho, comes back for our Panthera, you know, that type of thing. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully good things happen. Either way, whether they're back or not, uh, support the new talents, support the people who are trying to do it because they are humans behind it. Same thing I say for Nidhi Sanji, they're humans behind it. So don't hate, just leave them alone if you don't like them. So for all of those people who need a little bit of something to improve, the feeling, the way they feel today. A little bit of improvement for everybody to have a little bit of fun. Let's look at Doki Bird laughing for 30 minutes straight. Well, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see her actually laughing for 30 minutes straight because I wouldn't give you guys that either, but you know. She laughs a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God, that one was interesting. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we had a laugh. Like her laugh is the best. So energetic. Just have to laugh when she does. The the uh, the engine laugh. Love her laugh. It is infectious. It is absolutely infectious. It it gets to you. It gets you. It gets you happy. It gets you. You know, feeling a little bit better than maybe you did normally. But it is it is a good laugh. It is definitely a laugh that is can be heard around the world. A laugh that can light up a room. That type of stuff. You know what I mean? You gotta love those types of laughs. You absolutely do. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.